Welcome to Learning Lad. In this video, we will see how we can create a simple calculator using the C++ programming language. The calculator that we are going to create here will offer four functionality, addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. And this calculator will work on two numbers. The working of this calculator will be like first the user has to select the operator and then he has to enter two numbers and depending on the operator and the numbers that the user has entered our calculator program will perform the uh, calculation and display the result now here uh, i have already written some code i have included the iostream header file to our program and also here i'm stating that we will be using the components which are defined inside this std namespace and then we have this main function which is the entry point of our program so the first thing that we do here is we will declare the variables that we are going to need here as i said before the user is going to enter the operator and to store that operator we need a variable so i'm going to take the character data type and i'm going to call this as operator now after that since the calculator that we are going to create will work on two numbers to store those two numbers we need two variables so this time i'm going to take double data type and i'm going to name my variables as num1 and num2 now here uh, if you notice then it is showing this red mark near this operator variable that's because in c++ this operator is a keyword and we can't use it as a name for a variable so i'm gonna change this one and i'm gonna say op for operator okay now the next thing that we do is we will ask the user to enter uh, the operator so we're gonna use the cout and i'm gonna say enter the operator and we will display the choices also so for addition the user has to enter plus for subtraction user has to enter minus for multiplication this star symbol and for division this slash now after seeing this message the user will enter an operator so we will read that using c in and we will store that in this op variable so now we know which operation the user wants to perform now we will ask the user to enter two numbers and we will store them in this num1 and num2 so i'm going to see out here and i'm going to say enter two numbers one by one and then we will use the c in and we will read these two numbers and we will store them in the num1 and num2 variable okay now we have the operator and also the numbers on which we have to perform the operation now the next thing that we do is we will use a switch statement and we will perform the operation that the user has entered and we will display the result so it will be switch statement and here the expression will be the value present in this op variable that is the operator that the user has entered now here inside this switch statement for every operation we will uh, write the code and every switch case will indicate a specific operation so the first case that we write is for the addition operation so we will use the case and the case value will be this character plus so if the user has entered plus then what we want to do we want to add the values present in this num1 and num2 and we will display the result so i'm going to use this c out in here and i'm going to first display the value of this num1 variable and then i'm going to display this plus operator with a space and then i'm going to display the value of this num2 variable and then i'm going to display this equal to symbol and then i have to display the addition of num1 plus num2 i'm going to use the parenthesis to group the calculation and here we will perform num1 plus num2 so if the user is going to enter let's say 1 and 2 then this will display 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 now here i'm performing this num1 plus num2 and i'm directly using that result in this c out if you want you can perform this operation separately you can store the result in a separate variable and then refer that uh, uh, variable containing the value of the result 
here in this layout okay now after that we will use the break statement now after displaying the result for the addition operation we will uh, come out of this uh, switch statement now this is for the plus now we have to repeat this for all other operations so i'm gonna copy this case i'm gonna uh, paste it in here this time it will be for the negative that is for subtraction and here we will change the symbol to display num1 minus num2 and here we will perform num1 minus num2 now similarly we have to do for the multiplication and i'm going to paste it in here this time i'm going to change the symbol to multiplication here we will display num1 multiplied by num2 and the calculation that we do here is num1 multiplied by num2 now we have to write the case for the division operation so it will be case and the case value will be the division operator and uh, here while performing the division we have to take care of one thing and that is we can't divide a number by zero if we do that then we will arrive at a situation of divide by zero now here if you notice for addition we are performing num1 plus num2 for subtraction we are performing num1 minus num2 and similarly for multiplication we are performing num1 multiplied by num2 for the division operation what we do is we will perform num1 divided by num2 so in that case if the num2 variable if it contains 0 then we arrive at divide by 0 situation so before performing the division operation we will check whether the num2 variable is containing 0 or not if it is containing 0 then we will display a message stating that divide by 0 situation if the num2 variable is not containing 0 then we will perform the division and we will display the result so here we will use the if conditional statement and we will check if num2 variable is not containing 0 then what we do is we will perform this operation we will divide the number and we will display the result so it will be num1 divided by num2 and we will perform num1 divided by num2 and we do this only when num2 variable is not containing 0 else else it means if the num2 variable is containing 0 then we will uh, display a message stating that divide by 0 situation okay now after that here after coming out of this else block we will use the break statement to break this uh, switch so if it is confusing then i'm going to use a space in here and i'm going to separate it for the division operation we're just checking whether num2 is containing 0 if it is containing 0 then we are displaying this message else we are performing this calculation and we are displaying the result now after that we will have one last case for this switch statement and that will be the default case this default case uh, will be executed if the user is going to enter an operator which is other than addition subtraction multiplication or division for example if the user is going to enter a question mark then what we want to do in that case we just want to say invalid operator so i'm going to use the c out and i'm going to refer the value present in this op variable and i'm going to insert a string value i'm going to say is an invalid operator and since we are writing this default case in the end we don't need to use the break statement okay so now we have uh, written our program and by the way if you're not you know able to write this code along with me then you can visit my website and get this source code okay now we have uh, written the program in here let's run this enter the operator i'm gonna say i want to perform addition enter the two numbers one by one i'm gonna enter the first number let us say 10 and now i can separate the second number by using a space or a new line if i want to use the new line then i have to press the enter button i'm going to use the space to separate the second number and i'm going to enter 30. it says 10 plus 30 is equal to 40. okay we're going to close that 
we will run it one more time this time i want to perform subtraction i'm gonna say uh, the first number is 30 and the second number is 10 it says 30 minus 10 is equal to 20 that's fine we will run it one more time this time i'm gonna perform the multiplication and i'm gonna say 10 and uh, 50 it says 500 which is the uh, correct answer and we will run it one more time this time i'm gonna enter the division operation and the first number i'm gonna enter will be 10 second number will be 20 and the result that we get is 0 0.5 which is also fine let's run it one more time and this time the operation will be division the first number that we enter will be 10 and the second number will be 0 now if you remember it should say divide by 0 situation yes it will say that and uh, we're gonna close it we will run it and this time I'm gonna enter some other operator like the question mark or hash symbol you know I can enter anything other than uh, plus minus multiplication and division operator so I'm gonna enter hash I'm gonna enter two numbers 10 and 20 it says hash is an invalid operator so the program that we're written here is working properly so this is how you can write a simple calculator program using the c programming language if you want the source code of this program then you can visit my website and the code will be available in there so this is it guys for this video thank you for watching if you like it hit the like button if you don't like it hit the dislike button if you want to say something then write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next video